Hello my soccer universe, last one for to review the league action or the domestic action uh, over the weekend and yeah this was not supposed to be the last one I actually was thinking it should be the second or the third one and then the way it turned, it turned out it uh, spilled up into last place but that doesn't mean I shouldn't pay not attention to it because I do like these two leagues I even made an effort this weekend, not that it was that, I mean, for Eredivisie I definitely made that, made the effort and kind of paid a little bit for it because uh, there were other games that were much better at the same time to watch at least one game that I could. And Liga, I regularly tune in or watch on a side screen and so on. But uh, let's face it, uh, this week I think the one game in the Eredivisie I was really uh, intrigued by, I couldn't see. And in Liga, yeah were not all that great of matches but you saw it in the title uh, the remarkable thing about league uh, is maybe not what's happening up top although it is still behind PSG a very very competitive league it's the bottom two teams that are absolutely uh, you don't quite understand how this could happen if you have been follow a French football man Bordeaux you would expect to be one of the top teams and now they're on the bottom and Saint Etienne is uh, the team with the most titles in France at 10 uh, which tells a lot about the uh, there has never been a real dynasty in, in France a long-term dynasty um, both of them find themselves on the bottom of the table and I think the league would be a much poorer one if both of these would be going going down because uh, most leagues live off having the big names in there. As I said, in France, the wealth is very much shared. It's uh, a, historically probably the most egalitarian league, although there was always a team that was kind of top dog. Uh, but over history, none of these teams, uh, be it Saint-Étienne, be it uh, Marseille, be it Lyon, that have been able to uh, hold their spot up there for multiple decades in a row or you know that they have been popping up uh, always again um, that is not happening in France uh, which also might a little bit ex um, explain a little bit the European performance but you know I'm getting ahead of myself trying to make the video longer than it is I'm wearing Ajax because the Dutch weekend was for me um, more or less I call it prelude to madness Yes, it was uh, this round, and we have a cup round coming. Um, is more or less, yeah. Let's get the big teams a little bit warm, warmed up. That next weekend we have the big clash that might, could potentially already be a title decider uh, in some ways, especially if the underdog would win. So, and I want to start in the air division because when we already talk about um, the. Uh, uh, the title race, fair or not, definitely is out of it. They lose at home to Vitesse, uh, prompting me immediately. I mean, as much as I like Feyenoord, especially now with Trauner there. Um, I want to also, uh, one of the goals is to get more Eredivisie jerseys. And of course, I looked up Vitesse. Yeah, their home jerseys, which I would love to have because it would actually break up the uh, colors a little bit here. The home home dress only available in the asset mode. <laughs> so yeah, I'm still on the search of what Eredivisie team I will get next um, that is not just red and white. But, yeah, it will be Ajax, <laughs> which I have already too much. Uh, no, 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 too many, but quite a few. But yeah, Vitesse beating Fair for Feyenoord definitely knocked uh, Feyenoord out of the tight title race. Uh, it seems because the other two are going from strength to strength. Ajax going to Utrecht, whoops, three 0 was already done at the half halftime with Probe scoring a brace. Uh, Tadish assisting twice and Ravenberg and Anthony getting the first goal after five minutes. And then I, as I said, I saw Groningen against uh, PSV. Gotta say, Groningen played in a rather weird, I mean, they are green and white, they played in a green and black with orange kit um, at home. Uh, after 10 minutes, Mario Goethe makes it 1 0, really nicely played over Hakpo. Uh, and then PSV were just, you know, uh, negotiating the game uh, without really uh, getting more uh, chance, chance in rolling and just could not do it. Uh, so basically that uh, they hold surf as well. And now it goes right into the topper. But before we go into the topper, um, ah, let, let's see uh, the, the, the games. Uh, we have the topper. 
Sunday, 2.30, mark your calendars. I think this will be, uh, whatever else there is, this might be, this will be the game to watch. Not expecting a great game, but this is for me already the highlight of the next weekend. So I definitely want to watch that one. Uh, and, you know, uh, maybe Feyenoord could get back into Champions League contention if they win at Nijmegen. Um, and then, you know, if, let's say if PSV should beat Ajax, then PSV has already a bigger lead. Um, could uh, become interesting. Uh, also looking at what AZ uh, and Vitesse, those seem to be the teams that could maybe cause some trouble up there as well. But as I said before that, we actually have a cup round. And the one, to be honest, that when I look, look at draw, the only one that really sticks out as kind of a, a even a fair strength against AZ, maybe Groningen against Nijmegen, but the rest is kind of all a little bit even, especially the PSV and Ajax. They probably can play their B squads against a uh, second division and a third division side, although it's called first and second division because uh, Eredivisie is the highest one. So, uh, Telstar and Excelium Mars Luis. So, um, especially the last one was definitely the first time that I heard that team. So, uh, and if we just look at the standings, as I said, it all, I still very, 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 very much, much a favorite, but I think they almost need a win there and then not trip up again because PSV has been rather, rather steady despite losing 5 names to Ajax in the first game. And as I said, fair enough, Vitesse, as I said, those seem to be kind of the teams hanging uh, in there and kind of up on the top that uh, could potentially go Europa League spot or maybe even uh, a challenge for a Champions League spot if there's a weakness among the top two. More on that in the stats cast. Going on to League A, uh, where uh, PSG, yes, needed some good saves, but it was the Mbappé show, uh, but uh, in the end they beat Brest 2-0. Still don't get why they have to play all that uh, so often in their black jerseys like Inter. Uh, when they have such an, uh, you know, I think the home jersey is much uh, better. However, um, Messi still has not been playing, uh, which also I think uh, lowers interest in the league <laughs> almost considerably. Uh, Tilo Kera scoring a uh, goal. Um, the standard result was Ren, who had to be kind of downtrend. A huge result, 6 0 over Bordeaux, putting Bordeaux in true trouble. Uh, Thierry. Scoring one goal, uh, and then uh, Laborde, I think, with a Laborde ahead, uh, was what, what was it? Him, uh, one uh, there was one really, really great free, a uh, Burigo in the second, a, a wonderful free kick to make it 2 to two, 0. Two, two, and you know, it was helped also that this Soko got sent off in the 50th minute. I didn't I mention it last time, and Bordeaux lost the first game against uh, Marseille, it was the first time since the 70s that they have done so. Uh, Monaco getting back on track uh, with Clermont playing a Clermont, uh, a rather interesting vo uh, word wise. Uh, Lyon also getting a win at Troyes and then I actually uh, followed the second half of Marseille Lille together with uh, in Atlanta Inter. Uh, Lille actually were largely the better team, uh, got their lead uh, through Sven Botman, who half of Europe seemingly is chasing, uh, but then uh, really hard down, down by with a yellow red uh, through Andre, and then it was Marseille that got back in, in the game with a really nice um, equalizer by Cengiz Under, uh, assisted by pa Payet, and you know, it was a testy game, there were some ugly scenes at the end. Uh, but it ended 1-1 um, and there were also more bad news for Marseille, I think uh, be, uh, because of a transfer saga, they, they are facing a transfer ban for the upcoming window as well. So yeah, Marseille, as always, it's never, uh, I have to say, if you are following Marseille or if you're a fan of Marseille, I, I never have, have, have the feeling that it gets boring for the following game because there's always some sort of incredible story surrounding them. Okay, uh, the next set, again, we have, of course, on Friday, the big derby between Lyon and Saint-Étienne, although I expect it rather one-sided. Loss against Marseille seems to be a rather, rather interesting tie. Um, there's also a sudden derby between Mopi and Monaco. Mo Mopi is always a team that I think that could do something, but never really does. Um, and then PSG has to play against Stade de Reims. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Should be an easy win, but uh, these days they don't come by that easily. And uh, PSG actually should look into getting into some form slowly because you're gonna face Real Madrid very, 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 very soon. Um, up top, 
let's say PSG, 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 and then it is really tight. I would say, I mean, Nice uh, and Marseille at the moment are a little bit ahead of the, uh, the rest, but then Rennes, Monaco, Lens, uh, Strasbourg is also up there. Uh, so, you know, there those teams, maybe more, 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 one of those could make a run for Europe as well. So yeah, uh, that was it for me from this weekend. See, I got I'm a longer video than I expected for some storytelling out of there. As I said, I do love these two leagues. I wish I could watch a little bit more of those. And uh, those two leagues are definitely um, ones where I actually want to get a few more shirts to uh, augment here a little bit more. In any case, please drop a line below if you want to add, add to anything that happened in these two leagues. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell, so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day.